Hi everybody, today we're going to do a product review and the product review today is for the Magic 8 Ball Rack and the Magic 9 Ball Rack. Now when you order these, what you're going to get are these two thin pieces of plastic. Uh, this is the Magic 8 Ball Rack and as you can see there are laser notched holes all around to hold the balls in place. The same with the Magic 9 Ball Rack. Laser notched holes all around to hold the balls in place. Now it's a very thin piece of plastic, thinner than a piece of paper. So today I'm going to demonstrate the 9 ball rack for you. Okay? So first, let me rack up the balls using a traditional rack. Now one of the problems with a traditional rack, right, really the only problem with the traditional rack, is the balls tend to not be tight. Right? So, place them, rack them, compress them, let go, lift. Right? Now I was as careful as I could be. And I could already see the three is not touching the four, the six is not touching the seven, the eight is not touching the seven, uh, the one is not touching the three. I mean, this, is, this is a relatively loose rack. Right? So let's break this. Now, if you want a good break, what you don't want is a loose rack. Right? So, chalk up. Hit it. Let's break these and see what happens. All right? Now this is using using the traditional rack. Nice strong break. Uh, but here's the problem. On this half of the table, not much movement. So grouping the balls here. The rest, there was no power transfer to the rest of the balls that they moved away. But this grouping here, you don't want that on a break, especially in a nine ball, right? So that's using a traditional rack, right? So let's use the magic nine ball rack and see how that does, right? It's very easy to use. That first notch, you put that on the foot right there, right? The ball just rests in place. The rest of them the same. And it's just as quick as using a regular rack. I mean, you're going to spend time compressing a regular rack, tapping the balls to see if they're in place. Here, that's it. Every ball in place, and I can see, yep, every ball is touching the adjacent ball. I can even tap them, and there's no movement at all. No move. That's a tight rack, and that's what you're going to get consistently with the Magic 9 ball rack and the Magic 8 ball rack. So let's chalk up and break this group and see what happens. There you go. There's your difference. Same strength, completely different result. Okay? The inertia was transferred to all the balls evenly. Nice big spread. That's what you want in nine ball, right? Um, and you're gonna get that consistently with the Magic nine ball rack and the Magic eight ball rack. And it's so thin, you know. I'm used to just picking it up right after the break, but you can leave it there, and it won't. If ball goes over it, won't even deviate it. There you go. You can even shoot right over it. so light and thin, the light spin that I put on the cue ball, just moved it, but still didn't deviate. Great product. So, I've had these for about three weeks, and I tell you, I haven't used my regular racks since. Um, they're light, they're thin. If I go to the pool hall, I'll definitely take these with me, and I'm pretty sure that if you try these, you won't go back to your regular racks. Um, I love them. I, I, I won't use any other rack. So that's my product review for the Magic 8 Ball Rack and the Magic 9 Ball Rack. If you like the video, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload videos. And for now, goodbye.